Okay, hello ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to episode 5 of the Stug Podcast. This is Kev, Pete, here with my best friend Mike. And uh, What's up? we're going to be coming at you with uh, episode 5 in uh, today's episode. We're going to be talking about our favorite bands of the 80s. Favorite bands of the 80s. I need to be a top five list for both me and for Mike. So we're going to come at you with that. But first, I, I base my list more on uh, rock. And I think, Mike, Mike, you did yours on uh, funk, correct? Is that right? Funk. I'm a soul guy. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm more of a rock and roll guy. All right, so I'll start us off for my favorite bands of the 80s. Number five is Def Leppard. So uh, I'm a big, yeah, obviously, you know, I'm a big rock guy. I love Def Leppard. Some of the songs that I really like uh, from them, uh, Bring It On The Heartbreak, Rock of Ages, Animal, and You Can't Forget, Pour Some Sugar On Me. All-time favorite, number five, Def Leppard. <laughs> Mike, what do you what do you got? <laughs> so like I said, I brought, I brought, I did uh, five funk bands. Um, it was very tough. I like all of them. But uh, five, I had to do a tie. I had to do two for five. Oh, wow. Um, okay. Yeah, I, I had to. I had to because they both were just so great and whatever. So my tie for five is a band called Zap and then a band called The Whispers. Uh, the Whispers sang Rocksteady um, and the beat goes on. They had so many hits in the 80s. Uh, mm-hmm. I absolutely – Rocksteady obviously is a huge one. Everyone loves that one. Um and then Zap, oh my God, funky as can be Zap, more bounce to the ounce, computer love, um, yeah, Zap, Zap is sampled so much in like the West Coast rap, like Tupac, so Zap, it, you know the song California Love? Uh, I think I'm familiar with it. Yeah, from Tupac, so California Love, the guy yeah. that is on there with them is Roger, he's like the, the voice box, um, this is his group, awesome, my favorite song from, uh, from Zap is, is Computer Love and uh, um, The Whispers. I, I, got, I gotta say it's rock steady. Definitely rock steady. Or is another one, Keep On Loving Me. But yeah, yeah, tie for five. All right, that's cool. All right. All right, number four for me, top 80s bands. Number four is Guns N' Roses. Another uh, somewhat hard rock band. Uh, favorite songs from them uh, Sweet Child of Mine, Paradise City, Welcome to the Jungle. I love that. I like this band especially because. If you guys remember, some of you may or may not know, uh, the Patriots way back when used to, this uh, uh, Par- Welcome to the Jungle actually used to be the song that they ran out onto uh, Gillette Stadium on the field. It was awesome, you know. I used to get super pumped when I heard that song, so it's just another reason why. Yeah, number four for me, Guns N' Roses. I like it. I think the Celtics, go, don't the Celtics tip off to that too, I think? Do they? I, I-, I think so. Maybe I don't know. I could. Be I haven't been able to watch a Celtics game in a while, so I, I can't. I cannot confirm or deny that. Oh. Right now they have the Celtics Nets game on from like 2001. Oh, I was watching Ant- <laughs> Antoine Walker getting buckets. Oh man. Um, all right, number four. This band has grown a special place in my heart. Um, yeah, they they uh, so underrated, so funky. They have so many like good people in there. It's the time. They sing Jungle Love, um, The Bird. They um, Prince wrote all their music. Prince sang really? all their music. Yeah, oh yeah. Prince Prince produced all of their stuff. Wrote everything. Played every single instrument. The mm-hmm. only other guy that was really on any of the tracks was the lead singer. Um, he sang over the tracks, but they only released three albums, like six songs an album. And if Prince wasn't Prince. And he just produced the time and like the time we're able to just be like, I, I don't know, over promoted. They, they, I don't know. They would have been huge. And I think they were, they had, they had jungle love was their biggest hits, but at the time, if you just listen to all their songs, it's like mm. un, unreal. And the, the great thing about them too is in their, in their band, they had uh, Morris day, who was the lead singer. Um, and then, they had Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, who were like the best producer team in like the 80s and 90s. And even now they did all Janet Jackson stuff. They're like one of the top producers duos ever. So huh. they're, um, yeah, the time underrated favorite song. Um, it, it, it's got to be, it's got to be Jungle Love. 
Or wow, seven cool. seven seven ninety three eleven. You have to hear the drum on it. It's like, burn, 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 burn. Oh, it's sick. Prince was wild, man. I can't believe he did all that stuff. Oh yeah. Genius. Singing. Yeah, absolutely. I'm not a fan of everything. I'm a fan of him. I, I like a lot of his music, like the funkier stuff. Some of his stuff I just can't get into, but he right. he's still a genius. He's still oh, a genius. absolutely musical genius. All right, moving on. Number three, all time eighties band for me. A uh, little bit of a cop out, but I'm going with Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi's awesome, man. Obviously, you know, awesome songs. Wee woo, uh, wee woo. Yeah, obviously, awesome songs like Living on a Prayer, uh, Bad <laughs> Medicine, uh, and You Give Love a Bad Name. How could you not like Bon Jovi? I mean, like, everyone's got like a favorite like, like bon, bon Jovi song, you know what I mean? Yep. Good, uh, good artist all around. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He looks like he's, like, 25. Oh, I know. He does, like, that reverse aging stuff, like Benjamin Button. Him and Will Smith, both of them. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um, number three funk band for me, the Gap Band. The Gap Band. All right. The Gap All Band. Right. Drop Funky. a bomb on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Charlie Wilson. Yep, yeah, you dropped a bomb on me. Burn Rubber. Um, then they have a couple good slow ones here and For Your Love. I got, uh, uh, they were huge. I love them. They're in my yeah. playlist all the time. That's um, cool. I'd say favorite song for them probably be, be um, is a song called uh, Party Train. Funk. Party Train? Yeah, I love it. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So Gap Band is number three. Number three. All right, cool. All right, moving on. My number two all-time 80s band goes to uh, ACDC. ACDC, some of my favorite songs from them. Um, Thunderstruck, Have a Drink on Me, Hell's Bells. I mean, what more is, th- what more, uh, is there to say about ACDC? Classic uh, hard rock band. Uh, awesome music. Um, some, of them, some of them get you more pumped up than others, but uh, yeah, I mean, great band. Love it. Can I tell you something? Absolutely. I like all your bands. What's that? I, hate- I like all your bands so far that you named. Yeah, I cannot stand ACDC. Really, you can't. I don't know. I cannot get into them at all. At all. Wow. It's nuts. Well, yeah. I mean, everyone. Uh, you know, they're not for everybody, obviously. You know, everyone, that's the guy everyone, with the everyone, hat, right? Yeah, that's the guy with the hat. Everyone's got their own likes and dislikes. You know what I mean? Of course. That's all right. No worries. But they're they're my number two pick. Number two pick. Solid. Nice. Solid band. All right. Let me yeah, hear you. They are solid. Yeah, let me hear you at number two. Number two. Get down on it, burn, burn, burn. Get <laughs> down on it, burn, burn. Get down on it. Cool in the game. Nice. Number two. So many hits in the 80s. Cool in the game. Um, get down on it, obviously. Go to karaoke jam. Mm-hmm. Um, fresh, too hot, ladies night. Oh, so many good songs. Uh, I'd say my favorite one is probably, uh, I don't know, I don't know, there's a, a lot of good ones. I'd probably, I'd probably say there's, a, there's one called Take My Heart, that's pretty good, uh, huh. but Get Down On It's up there too, so Cool in the Gang, number two. All right, cool. Now before we get to number one, uh, do you have any honorable mentions of some bands that uh, didn't make your list or just edged out? Because like you said, it's like for me, you know... Um, I had I had a hard time actually making this list as well. Do you have any uh, any bands that just uh, just missed out? Oh yeah, I have like ten. But um, uh, I had the um, I had the Jacksons, Michael yep. Jackson with his brothers. Um, I didn't put them in because they didn't have a lot of hits in the eighties. He did, right. but not yeah. not hit, not them. So, um, Earth, Wind, yeah. and Fire had had yep. Let's Groove, uh, another couple of hits, but they weren't as big as they were in the seventies. Um, yep. SOS band almost made it in. Take your yep. time. They do a couple cameo. They sing the song "Word Up." Um, the Barge. They sing "Rhythm mm-hmm. of the Night." Feel the beat of the rhythm. Yeah, that's a great song. I like that. Um, I read this was this would have been number six is uh, Shalimar. 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 They sing um, "A Night to Remember." Uh, this is for the lover in you. They have so many good songs. Um, and the last two I had on there were uh, "Midnight Star" with Midas Touch. Yep, a uh, great song. That's my jam. And then uh, Ready for the World. They sing Oh, Sheila. Um, mm-hmm. you, got, you, got, you got a lot of other ones, too. But those were uh, 
those are definitely on my list. How about you? I, I, had, a, I had a couple. I didn't have as many as you, but um, uh, some of the bands were like White Snake and Motley Crue. Those were two of my big ones, obviously. Motley Crue. Here my, I go again. Yeah, 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 exactly. Here I go again by uh, White Snake and uh, Kickstart My Heart by Motley Crue. Those are probably like my top two favorite songs uh, by those guys. But yeah, I mean, it, it was a tough list to make, but you know, but yeah, I mean. It is what it is. You know, you can only pick five, and that's how that's how it goes. All right, so finally, moving on to the number one pick. Number one pick for uh, for me for 80s all-time. Drum Van roll. Ha- no, I, 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 goes to Van Halen. Van oh. Halen. Yeah, Van Halen, number one all-time favorite 80s band for me. Uh, songs like Panama, Dreams, Half a Teacher. Just classic, classic all around, classic all around rock. Really good, really good band. Definitely would recommend. How about you? What's your number one pick? My number one pick for the 80s. New edition. New edition. Candy Girl. Candy Girl. That's cool. Yeah, Candy Girl, Mr. Telephone Man. If it isn't love, um, Crucial, uh, my favorite. I think my, I would say my cool it now. My favorite song by them is Mr. Telephone Man. Mr. Telephone Man. Oh yeah, I love New Edition. It's they're still so relevant now to some extent. They just had a movie a couple years ago that was. Oh awesome. yeah, that's pretty and cool. I, I know the listeners can't see it, but I, I have a record wall. Maybe you'll see it one day if we keep getting good. Yeah, and, right. Uh, they're on my record wall, so yeah, that's definitely awesome. New Edition, number one of the eighties. All right, well. Awesome. Well, let's do a, let's do a quick recap, Mike. Uh, let's do a, from five to one again. Recap uh, your top top favorite artists or bands of the eighties. Five to one. All right. So uh, at five, I had a tie between the group Zap and uh, the Whispers. Number four, the Time. Number three, the Gap Band. Number two, Cool in the Gang, and number one, New Edition. Awesome. All right. For me, top five. Uh, number five was Def Leppard. Number two was Guns N' Roses. Number three was Bon Jovi. Number two was ACDC. Number one, number one was uh, Van Halen. All right. Uh, I had a lot of fun making this list. Um, I don't know about you, Mike, but definitely, like you said, I had a hard time uh, deciding on some of them. But, you know, all around, it was a good time. I had fun. How about you? Of course. Yeah, it was, it was tough to make the list. As probably I probably missed a lot. Yeah, uh, I probably did too. But those are just you know those are just the ones that I like. You know that on the top of my head. I'm sure if I went back and you know listened to a song uh, randomly, you know I'd be like, oh man, I can't believe I forgot about those. But for right now, those are my favorite ones. You know, yeah. all time crazy so there's, far. There's a lot of artists from that era and and genre that like nobody would know. Right. If I ever said they named they might not even know some of these people, but. These are like the more popular ones. There's a lot. I mean, there's yeah, there's a lot. Absolutely. All right. Well, I think that's going to do it for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for listening. Uh, as always, make sure that you uh, like, comment, and subscribe. It means a lot to us. And also, you know, uh, uh, this is just our opinion. So if you have a different top five than either myself or Mike, make sure that you leave it down in the comments below. Uh, it, it means a lot to us if uh, if you if you would do that. This is Absolutely. A, yeah, this is a uh, this is a love love project right now. So all the help all the help that you can give means a lot. A love project. Right. That's right, love project. But doing this just doing this because you love doing it. That's right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I uh, hope you guys have a great night, and uh, we'll see you soon. Good night.